Hey, what is going on YouTube? It is your boy Tropical Habs back here today for a brand new YouTube video. So today we're here to review the game between the Montreal Canadiens and um the what was it again? I don't even remember. The Nashville Predators. That's it. That's it. We got it. The Nashville Predators. I'm here with my uh Montreal Canadiens blanket that I got at Christmas. Um, so yeah, we're going to review the game. What an amazing game, man. That was a sick night. And for tonight, I was not on team tank for one reason. And that reason was PK Subban, man. I wanted the Canadians to win that game for our boy PK Subban. He deserved it. Honestly, PK deserved that win. And yeah, it was a heck of a night at the Bell Center. Um, if you were at the Bell Center, let me know in the comments. How was it? I was um the ambience i was the ambience i don't know the, the the word in english man i'm sorry i'm sorry um but yeah uh that was that was really nice that was really nice uh i was having a lot of fun wa watching that game uh, and yeah <laughs> pk suban made the canadians win the game and they they, they they gave him they gave him some energy man they they, they gave he gave the canadians some energy and uh, the Canadians gave PK Subban some energy as well. That was sick. Uh, Carey Price coming out at the end of the the little ceremony. Uh, I think the triple low five um, with PK like old time. And I was realizing when I was watching this man, they were they were doing that before Michel Terrien came in. Michel Terrien came in in 2012. I was just like, bro, people born in 2012. When they stopped doing the triple low five, are now eleven years old, and I felt so old. I felt like an old hag. I remember the triple low five, and those little guys, eleven year old guys watching this, probably did not even understand what the fuck it was. They probably were looking like me when I was a kid watching the ceremonies with Guy Carbonneau and Vincent Hoffus. Man, that's crazy, crazy to think about. Man, crazy to think about. Time flies, and I remember. When P.K. Subban got drafted like two days ago, man, playing at the World Juniors and shit, playing with the Hamilton Bulldogs, man, in the AHL. Time flies. And yeah, really nice ceremony. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I, cr I, I, I got close on crying. I, I may have uh, let a tear out of my eye. I'm not going to lie. The triple low five kind of got me. Uh, it, it brought me back to, to my childhood, man. I was like 10, year, 10, 11 years old when they were doing that. And uh, yeah, that was sick. Sick time, sick time. I miss PK Subban. I would have loved him to play a last season and retire as a Canadian, but it was not part of the plan. And I'm happy with that little ceremony. So yeah, the Canadians won the game for PK. Um, yeah, they, they, the, one of the best games they played in a while. Uh, they got they had the energy. They looked like they wanted to win that game, and a lot of players played some amazing games. And one of them is Jonathan Drouin. Jonathan Drouin. Got three points in a game for the first time since January 13, 2021. It's been two years. It's going to be two years tomorrow. Two years. Uh, and yeah, I'm sure it's going to help him. It's going to help his confidence. He's been, he's been playing some nice hockey recently. He might be able to to flip him for some 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 draft picks at, at the trade deadline. If he continues to play like that, you never know. Uh, going to Colorado, play with McKinnon for the playoffs. That would be kind of nasty. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Joel Armia played good. Dodonov played good. All those veterans played good. Might, they might want to go play some playoff hockey, uh, get their value out there so they can get traded to a playoff team. You never know. <laughs> might be it, but the veterans have been playing a lot better uh, hockey-wise uh, recently. Um, not Joel Edmondson. Joel Edmondson has been terrible. Uh, I think two goals uh, tonight. Uh, he was doing some weird shit. So, yeah, definitely not it right now for Joel Edmondson, but um, the rest of the guys are playing really nice. The best defenseman for the Canadians tonight was Jordan Harris. Man, Jordan Harris is hitting the next level right now. Uh, he played 22 minutes. I think it's one of his highest... Uh, ice time this year in his NHL career. Uh, yeah, Jordan Harris is improving game after game after game after game. He's been really, really, really good. He's been getting out there, and it's really impressive to watch. He's progressing really well. Kovacevic played a decent game as well uh, with um, the low ice time he got. 
Uh, Weidman was uh, terrible, like usual. Uh, Jaikai played good. Jaikai with the fight against Jano, uh, Tanner Jano. Uh, really, really nice fight. Jaikai landed a clean punch. You saw uh, the blood coming out of the, the Jano's mouth on that punch. Put it in slow motion and zoom it. You're going to see it. I saw it on a big screen um, on, my, on my TV. Yeah, uh, really nice fight. Jaikai. And continues to dominate in the, in the fights. It was a pretty fair fight, but I think that Jack I got the edge, landed two clean punch, and uh, he flipped Jano over at the end of the fight. So the, another W for uh, Jack I. His only hell was against Delorier, and it was kind of a weird fight. He, he, the fight came out of nowhere. I'm sure if Jack I had the time to react, it would have been um, maybe not a W, but at least not that big of an L. Uh, Ilanen, man. Ilanen. What the hell? I just realized he played eight minutes. Ilanen played eight minutes. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I I, I'm swearing, but like, bro, I, I, I've I seen him all night long on the ice and he only played eight minutes. So that means he played a heck of a game. Every time he was on the ice, something happened. I got some power play time. I got some scoring chance. Made a heck of a play on... Kirby Doc's goal, man, that was a nice play, and yeah, uh, you can see what is the difference, I've talked about it in yesterday's video, uh, between Richard and Ilanen, Richard has the hockey mind, and you can see the difference between Richard and Ilanen, uh, Richard was getting as much ice time, as much opportunities, but he was not taking them, and Ilanen has just been playing really well this, uh, this game, he needs to continue on that track, if he continues, he's going to get more and more ice time. And he might stay with the Canadians and with uh, all the players that are probably going to get traded at the trade deadline. Uh, he might end up getting a lot of um, minutes for the Canadians at the end of this season. Uh, Jake Evans continues to show that he has some top six potential. I think that if he can continue like this, he can be a decent top six, top nine centerman i think he's better than just a fort line center he has some offensive potential and uh maybe when he's going to be 30 31 he's going to be uh, solid enough to play uh, and get some top six minutes sometimes so yeah jake evans has been really really playing amazing so far uh in 2023 uh yeah he could have easily have had two goals he scored a he scored one and hit the post on a really really nasty play so yeah Kirby Doc, one goal, one assist. One of his good games from Kirby Doc. I still can't believe that we got him from the Blackhawks. He's only 21. He's on pace for 50 points. Um, it's going to be uh, really, really nice seeing uh, Kirby Doc uh, getting developed in, in the Canadians organization. Um, Suzuki's been getting an, a lot of hate uh, recently on Twitter. Uh, they were talking about, they were talking smack about him on TV. Uh, Nick Suzuki is not playing bad. He's not playing as good a, as at the start of the season. Uh, I, I suspect an injury, a minor injury, uh, either on the end or on the foot. Um, but yeah, since Monaghan has been uh, injured, uh, he gets a lot more responsibilities on the top six. There are no really uh, legit top six center outside of him. He gets a lot of responsibilities. He gets um, 23 minutes of ice time uh, a night, and it's not helping him. He's going to get back to his former self, don't worry, but he's still playing pretty decent, making some nice plays, making some nice passes. He got an assist tonight, and he, he still had 36 points in 42 games. That's still really, really good for a 20-year-old 20, 20 uh, centerman in the National Hockey League. He is playing good. He is not bad. He is not... He does not deserve the hate that he's getting, in my opinion. And yeah, stop the hate on Nick Suzuki, man. That's not cool. Best player on the team. Uh, Cole Caulfield got his 25th, well, actually, his 24th and 25th goal of the uh, season. He's on pace for, he's going to get 40, let's be honest. There's 40 games left uh, in this season if he remains healthy, and uh, he only needs 15 goals. So he could, he could easily be closer than 50 than 40. I think he's easily he's easily getting to 40, maybe 45. It's not impossible. And you never know, man. He got 25 and 42. He could get 25 and 40 and hit the 50 goal mark. And I don't think I've ever seen in my lifetime, well, not until I can remember, 
a 40 goal scorer for the Canadians. I know Patch already in one season he was at 39. The other one after was at 38. You got really, really close to 40, but never hit it. And yeah, it's been a long time since the Canadians got a 40 goal scorer on a team. So that would be really, really nice to see uh, Caulfield at 40. And you never know, even 50. That would be insane. Really, really insane to see. Justin Barron improved, in my opinion. He has an offensive game, amazing offensive game. He just needs to work on his defensive game, his confidence. He, he looks a bit scared on the ice sometimes, and that's his biggest weakness. Um, Yuri Sofkovsky is getting better and better and better uh, every game recently. Uh, he's more implicated into everything. Uh, he's not only playing offense, he's starting to play defense. He's blocking shots, making hits, uh, back checking, forward checking. He, he, he's everywhere. And that's how we get minutes. That's how we get minutes. And we saw him at the end of the game killing the six, uh, the six on five for the Canadians. He went, he was on the ice for the Canadians at the end of the game to kill um, the, the 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 six on five for 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 the Canadians. Uh, and he did really well. He almost played 17 minutes tonight. Uh, it's almost as much as Cole Caulfield. So um, definitely. Uh, Sofkovsky is improving, he's getting into the right track and he's going to learn how to play in the National Hockey League. He's adapting slowly to uh, the National North American style of hockey and that's some good news for him. Um, I can see only positive for uh, Sofkovsky right now, uh, even though uh, there were some mistakes made in his development, that's for sure. But he's getting there, he's getting there and he's going to be a heck of a player in a couple of seasons, that's for sure. So yeah. Uh, nice game for the Canadians. We won that shit for PK. And now let's get back to the Tank Nets game. Uh, they're playing back to back against the Islanders and the Rangers in New York this weekend. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be interesting to see if Primo gets uh, gets a, a game or if Montalbo plays in both of them. Uh, yeah, Montalbo played solid as well. 40 saves. Montalbo is better than Jake Allen in my opinion. He's more confident. He finds the puck way quicker than Allen. And honestly, this year, uh, I've been more uh, happy when Montabo was in net than when Hallen was. So definitely Montabo has some uh, backup potential to be uh, the backup for the Canadians. Maybe when the rebuild is going to be over, it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys all think about this in the comments below. It's been the review for today. Uh, let me know what you guys all think about the uh, the game in the comments below about what I said. And I'm going to see you guys tomorrow for two brand new videos about the Canadians. Did not post today. I did not have the time. And there weren't really uh, anything to talk about. So I did not make a video. But we're going to be back tomorrow. I have a couple of ideas to make for you guys. So yeah, it's been about Tropical Habs. Have, an, have a good night. Have a nice rest of your day if you're watching this tomorrow. And I'll see you all in another video. Leave a like, subscribe. Bye-bye.